I'm delighted to cover this slot today talking about how to get to manager because we've had a fantastic enhancement to it now that we can do it over four months. Anybody this excited? It's absolutely fantastic to see such an enhancement to our marketing plan. Our company is in business 40 years now and very few times have we seen any enhancements to the marketing plan. Whenever we do see one, it is definitely to really support us as forever business owners. But I don't think we could have wished for one this good. It is absolutely fantastic. We really need to understand it and get excited about it. So today we're going to take a look at if you do want to become manager, we're going to look at why. We're going to look at what it takes. We're going to look at a CC breakdown of what it might look like numerically. We're going to look at what it takes behind the numbers, what it really, really takes, what kind of activity and attitude that you need to really succeed on purpose. So why? We need to really start with the why. And you'll probably notice that I have seven question marks there after it. Take some time to really stop and ask yourself why at least seven times. I think where most people do it, it's probably six, seven times that you get that lump in your throat. That's your emotional connection. That's when you know that is your why. Really take the time to look at it. Most people, when they looked at this business, well, I think everybody, when they looked at the business, they didn't join to be manager. None of us knew what it meant. None of us knew what kind of a business we'd have, what kind of an income or lifestyle came with it. You didn't join the business to be manager, so really stay connected to the why. Was it the time freedom, the financial freedom? Was it to help other people, to achieve your full potential, feel fulfillment and successful? Was it to be able to travel, personal development? to be your own boss and replace a career income. Take the time to really stop and think what was the reason that you joined. You didn't join to be manager, but it is a goal that most of us need to take off to get that reason why we joined. So again, it's not the title, stay connected to the why. So when you know why, just get it over with and take it off. My God, Donna did just that, didn't she? When she decided, she knew why and she ticked it off. What did she say, 40 cc's in a week? Seriously. Go for it. Just take it off. You can do it. The manager position won't get any bigger, but you definitely can get bigger. Focus on personal development. Focus on developing yourself more than anything, and you'll naturally see your business develop. Start leading and acting like a manager now from today when you decide that you want to be one, and naturally the business will come with it. So when I think you're looking at planning your, man your business to manager, you need to know, are you looking to build a manager business or manager and beyond? And I'm so happy that the two girls said on the stage, they're straight away looking ahead to Eagle Manager, straight away looking into Car Plan, because that goes definitely into what I'm about to talk about today. So when you do decide you want to be manager, are you happy with a manager business? If you are, brilliant, that is your goal, connect to it. Are you happy with 37 and a half case credits, 40 case credits? Or is manager part of your three to five year plan? Is it a stepping stone that you need to take off to get to the bigger things on your goals? What kind of business do you see yourself having? Do you see your business as being a direct sales business or do you really see the potential in what you have your hands on of having a team marketing business to really see the power of residual income, leverage of your time? How you view your business is so important in the planning. So when, you know how, when we look at the how, we're going to look at the CC breakdown. Now, we all know that we can still do it, the 120 case credits over two consecutive months. We know we can now do it, absolutely fantastic enhancement. We can now do it 150 case credits over four consecutive months. And we can all use a calculator to see that's going to be 37 and a half case credits. Or you can look at it any way that suits you. So it has to be planned to how it sits with you. So you'll see on the screen here, the first column is showing you that it can be done in three months. It's up to four months. And then you can see the other three columns are just different breakdowns. It doesn't matter what way it lands. It just matters that you get the accumulation. But it does matter that you look at your plan and you connect and believe that that's the way it's going to happen for you. For the purpose of today, I'm just going to pick this one here as an example and chat you through that one. Because Donna and Donna Marie, was that the other girls? Well, Lisa Marie. Both those ladies said today that they're not just happy with manager, they're looking at going beyond manager. And I think the majority of people that get to manager are thinking that way. So we're going to take a look at building your business to manager, but looking at a progression to straightway go on to bigger things. Because I definitely feel that we're thinking a little too small in Ireland at the minute. Anyone agree with me? 
we're getting a little too comfortable and thinking just too small. And I think going to Dallas just really opened my eyes to that. And you see Marion and you see Pauline keep saying, dream bigger, dream bigger. We're not thinking big enough. So this plan today will just give you a little idea how you can decide today to go to manager over four months, but build it on. You're going to step on to everything else that the company offers. So if you decide today that you're going manager, let's just use August, September, October, November as an example. This is what 15 case credits might look like in August, an accumulation of what's coming in from a small team. Now, again, we know that we want people to be 4CC active, but it doesn't realistically always start out like that. So 15 case credits might look like an accumulation like this. Now, if you're deciding today that you want to go manager over the next four months, the work has to start today. You can't wait and start on the 1st of August. Things do take landing time. It takes time to build momentum. It takes time for things to land. So don't sit and wait and think, oh, I'll start and I'll go for 15 in August. Start today. September, the only thing different is you're looking at a little bit of a duplication in the team. And maybe the second month, we're going to get 25 case credits. Third month, we're up to 45 case credits. You've sponsored more people and your team are duplicating more. What really excites me about a slide like this is that you can see people in your team achieving. If you connect to helping other people achieve what's important to them, that's when everybody will succeed together and it is so much more enjoyable. As somebody mentioned earlier on, it is so rewarding to see somebody that you've helped cross this stage. So focus on who in your team wants more and who can you help to develop and get what they want out of it. Then in November, we might be looking at an accumulation of 65 case credits to finish it off and then to run us straight away into looking at Eagle Manager, Car Plan, 50 Club, 75 Club. So again, you can see here the blue leg and the green leg have achieved supervisor and well on their way to assistant manager. But then just as important, you'll see the leg in red consistently doing four case credits. Some people in your team are happy doing four case credits with just retail, and that's all they'll ever want to do, and they're just as important. But pick out your key people as well that do need extra help and support. Help them get to where they want to get, and you will naturally get to where you want to get as well. So that's what it takes numerically to look at it. We all can work out and calculate with different options, different ways it can happen. But let's take a little look at the actual activity that needs to go in behind it. So first off, you need to have a goal and you need to have a clear deadline. As Donna said earlier on, nope, I'm not going for it the next month, I'm doing it this month. When you decide on a deadline, 100% commit to that deadline. Otherwise, you will keep putting it off. I've done it myself in the run-up to manager. It could be a week into the month and maybe it's not going quite to plan. Oh, I'll do it again next month. I'll do it again next month. When you commit to a date, just commit to it. Clear goals, clear deadlines. Stay emotionally connected to the why. This is where most people get lost when they fully connect to manager or a big incentive. They forget the why and the actual position and the title becomes the why. That is not your why. Stay fully connected to that emotional connection and use the stepping stones then as the incentives and the different positions to get there. Visualize it and feel it daily. You really have to stop and feel what your emotional why is going to feel like. So when you looked at it, did you join the business to replace a career income, to be able to stay at home, work flexibly around the kids? That's your emotional why. You need to take time every day to stop and feel what that is going to feel like when you're living that life that you want to live. Use a goal board. You have to see it to see it. You really have to take the time. Paddy and Pauline are experts in it. Poor Paddy still won't have that stone wall unless he probably took that picture of the exact wall he has now. So get good at really visualizing feeling and seeing what's going to happen. You need to be prepared to replan because the plan that you put in place, as much as it might be great and detailed and look like it'll all go to plan, it doesn't. That's reality. You will have to replan. So make sure that you're on top of it. You're being proactive. You're really looking at it to replan as much as you can. But don't change the goal and don't change the deadline. Just replan to make it happen. So when you see it, you have to believe it. So that's why I say some people will look and go, I'm going to do two months to manager with 120. Some people will look and go, I'm just going to gradually increase by 10 case credits and I'm going to do it over the next seven, eight months. Whatever you believe is possible for your business, that's what you'll achieve. So plan your business to what you believe. Feel it, take the action and achieve it. As Jim Carrey says, you can't just believe and go eat a sandwich. You have to take the action and actually put it into practice and make it happen. Daily activities then. So what actually do we need to be doing every day to achieve this? 
most important has to be personal development. And a lot of people, I think, will put this bottom of the list when they really get connected to a big goal. And they kind of think, oh, but I need to do more income producing activities, and they leave this as a priority. This has to be number one priority. Take time every day to make sure you have really good habits, morning and evening, working on your mindset, reading, listening, really good daily habits working on your mindset. Then what other income producing activities are we looking at? You probably can't see that too clearly, so I can send it on to anyone that wants to take a look. But I change this regularly. I've only changed it a couple of weeks ago. It's my daily strategy. It will tell me every day what I need to be doing in a section for personal development and mindset, in a section for working on my retail business, and in a section for working on team building. It is a real business. You need to get serious and treat it like a real business. Know what activities you should be doing every day and tick them off. And again, remember that the activity has to match the goal. So if you have big goals and dreams, you need to be realistic with the effort that you're putting into it. Self-motivation. This is so, so important. How, do we go, how are we going to motivate ourselves then? It really comes down to knowing your motive, knowing your why. When you know why, you are jumping out of bed to take that action every single day. When you're taking the action, you stay motivated. Motiv motivation comes from motion. When you stop moving, I'm sure most people in the room have stopped and started their business a few times. When you stop, it is like starting all over again. Keep moving. Motion will lead to motivation. But know your why. That is the most important. Don't be looking at other people to motivate you either. Other people can definitely inspire you, but the motivation comes from you of, again, being connected to that motive and the why. Follow the incentives. So this business we know is a vehicle to get us wherever we want to get to. We need to know where that is, and we need to set the route that we're going to take. How fast or slow we're going to do it, we set our own route, we know where we're going, and really set your own sat-nav. Use your incentives then as the pit stops to get there. So if you're going for a manager, you should be absolutely obsessed with that network professional incentive. Use the incentives as stepping stones to get to where you need to get to. Become incentive obsessed. I definitely am. <laughs> but do, it's a really good habit to get into. Follow everyone that the company put on. They are genius in how they set the incentives. It is there to build your business for you if you follow them. So commit to it. Leave yourself no wiggle room. I think it was um, Natalie Healy that first came out with that saying. I just thought it was genius. We constantly leave ourselves a way to wiggle back out of it. So 100% commit to telling everybody that you're doing it. When I decided I was going for manager, I went live on my team Facebook page, told them I was doing it. I was telling friends and family they won't see me as much, that my business is progressing to the next level. Commit to it. If you decide you're doing it over the next four months, maybe book yourself a weekend away for the first weekend in December to celebrate. Commit to your doing it on that date. Shut the back door, as Jill Burns would say, even set it on fire. Stop giving yourself the way out. You are doing it, and you're doing it for that date that you said you're doing it. 100% commit and be dedicated to it. Do absolutely whatever it takes. But what I think is really important is to understand the compound effect. That is so, so true in our business of how it works. You really need to start today to see 65 cc's land in November. That is the reality of it. Be consistent in the activity. Be com committed to being disciplined. Stay consistent, and you do see the activity really pay off in the end. What are your priorities? So if you want something to change, you're going to have to look and change your priorities. What are your list of priorities? So for a lot of people, it's family, it's hobbies, it's maybe health, it's the kids. Where is your business sitting on that list? Is your business right there in the bottom that if you have time, you'll get to it? Because we all had 24 hours in a day filled before we started our business. So you have to make it a priority. Are you willing to make some sacrifices? For a lot of people, that's kind of hard to swallow. If you want to still watch your silly soaps, just record them and watch them all on your day off. Your day off can be as unproductive as you want it to be. It doesn't matter. But stop letting the day run you and prioritize your business. The short-term pain is definitely worth the long-term gain. So how are we going to build our belief? The top of those slides are missing. Sorry, so I'm trying to remember what the headings were. So build your belief. You're going to be looking at reading, listening, and attending. It is as simple as that. If you do that in a daily practice of reading and listening, you will build a solid, solid belief. 
You need to never stop learning, but make sure what you're learning you're putting into practice. I was very good at attending things and making lovely notes and pretty notebooks, developing my shelf, not developing myself. So make a good, good effort at putting it into practice. Picking one or two things from a day that you've attended and putting it into practice. But remember that the belief won't give you the confidence. It's the action that will give you the confidence. So you still have to step out there and take the action. The belief cycle then. So we do need to have a solid belief in our products. Obviously, that comes with using the products, but we do as well need to know a little bit of behind the scenes. Do you know that we are a vertically integrated company? We own and control every single part of our process. We only use the safest natural ingredients in our products. Are you really, really proud of the products that you're standing behind? Your company, do you realize what a fantastic company this is to be in business 40 years, trading in 160 countries, to be cash rich and debt free? You need to build your belief in these things. The industry, we are the highest grossing billion dollar industry in the world. You need to stand proud of what you're part of because so many people out there unfortunately still don't understand our industry. And if your belief is not solid, you will easily be knocked and your belief will come in you with some action. This belief cycle I thought was absolutely genius when I first came across it. In answering for everybody, I think, why you're not seeing results. If you're not seeing results, it will be because you're not taking the action. If you're not taking the action, it's probably because you're not seeing potential around you. If you're not seeing the potential, it's because your belief is not fully there in one of those areas that we looked at. So if you do have a solid belief, you are going to be seeing potential everywhere. There's not going to be enough hours in the day for what you want to do. You're going to be taking enough action and you're definitely going to be seeing the results. Your attitude, that definitely determines your altitude. We've heard it so many times today to work on your mindset. And when your mindset is solid, you can see it in your attitude. You can see it in your body language. But most of us, when we start, we think we need to know all the facts, the figures, everything behind it. It needs to be said in a certain way. We need to use the words that were used at the business presentation we saw. You don't. Your attitude is what's important. You are your business, and it will come down to your attitude. As you see, it's only 7% of how you communicate is actually your words. The rest is your tone of voice, your body, your body language, how excited you are about the opportunity. We've heard the saying, ignorance on fire, when we start our business, we get to supervise her often in five, six weeks, and then we slow down because we start overthinking it. Keep that excitement going. That is what is important. So what kind of people are we looking for in our business? So if we are looking to build a team of people, you're going to need to be willing to take a little look and kind of see what kind of people that you want in your business. Are you looking for people that are professional? They're driven, they're ambitious, they're team players, they set big goals, they love to help people, love to have fun, and they want more from life. That's the kind of person that I want in my business as business partners. If that's the kind of person that you want in your business, you need to ask yourself, is that you? You will attract what you are. That is why we keep saying, work on yourself harder than you are working on your business. You will attract what you are, so take the time to develop yourself. And then you are going to succeed on purpose. We know success is preparation, meet an opportunity. You are going to be prepared with your mindset being 100%. You have to up in your skills, your knowledge. You have a solid belief and a really clear vision of where you're going. You are going to see opportunity everywhere. Let me tell you, this is the biggest difference in where your business is going, is where your head is going. When you are clear about where you're going, a great belief and vision, you just literally do not have enough time in the day for everything that you're seeing around you to take action on. So secrets to success, if you ask Greg Mohan, he'll tell you to use the products. That is the number one secret to our company. You have to be willing to use the products because when you're using them, you are then generally recommending the products onto other people. You're going to be 4CC active, you're going to go for all the incentives, and you're going to help other people do the same. That is our business. Yes, behind the scenes, we need to make sure our head is right, our belief is right, our attitude is right, but that is the simplicity of our business. Don't overcomplicate it. Get out your first steps to manage your booklet and swallow it. It has everything you need to know. It is just about doing the basics, doing them well, and doing them often. Keep it duplicatable. You need to start today, as I said. So is there anyone in the room that is now up for going for manager over the next few months? Brilliant. And is there anyone in the room that is already manager and really excited to help keep people in their business get to manager? brilliant. We are going to see a lot more managers cross this stage before this year is out. We need to really get on board with it and start thinking a bit bigger. I think we're just after taking a bit of a back seat. When you look at what's going on in other countries, we need to get back up there. But remember that it is who you become, who you help, 
that is the real success in achieving manager. Have fun and enjoy the journey on the way. Thank you.